north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Onion. The onion, also known as the bulb onion or common onion, is a vegetable and is the most widely cultivated species of the genus Allium. This genus also contains several other species variously referred to as onions and cultivated for food, such as the Japanese bunching onion, the Egyptian onion, and the Canada onion. The name wild onion is applied to a number of Allium species, but Allium sepa is exclusively known from cultivation. Its ancestral wild original form is not known. Although escapes from cultivation have become established in some regions, the onion is most frequently a biennial or a perennial plant, but is usually treated as an annual and harvested in its first growing season. The onion plant is unknown in the wild, but has been grown and selectively bred in cultivation for at least 7,000 years. It is a biennial plant, but is usually grown as an annual. Modern varieties typically grow to a height of 15 to 45 cm. The leaves are yellowish-green and grow alternatively in a flattened, fan-shaped swath. They are fleshy, hollow, and cylindrical, with one flattened side. They are at their broadest, about a quarter of the way up, beyond which they taper towards a blunt tip. The base of each leaf is a flattened, usually white cover that grows out of a basal disc. From the underside of the disc, a bundle of fibrous roots extends for a short way into the soil. As the onion matures, food reserves begin to accumulate in the leaf bases and the bulb of the onion swells. In the autumn, the leaves die back and the outer scales of the bulb become dry and brittle, and this is when the crop is normally harvested. If left in the soil over winter, the growing point in the middle of the bulb begins to develop in the spring. New leaves appear and a long, stout, hollow stem expands, topped by a bract protecting a developing inflorescence. The inflorescence takes the form of a globular umbel of white flowers with parts in sixes. The seeds are glossy black and triangular in cross-section. Onion Types and Products Common onions are normally available in three color varieties. Yellow or brown onions, called red in some European countries, are full-flavored and are the onions of choice for everyday use. Yellow onions turn a rich dark brown when caramelized and give French onion soup its sweet flavor. The red onion, called purple in some European countries, is a good choice for fresh use and when its color livens up the dish. It is also used in grilling. White onions are the traditional onions used in classic Mexican cuisine. They have a golden color when cooked. Non-culinary uses. The large size of onion cells makes them ideal for practicing microscopy. These cells from epidermis of a red onion are naturally pigmented. Onions have a particularly large cell that are rapidly observed under low magnification. Forming a single layer of cells, the bulb epidermis is easy to separate for educational, experimental and breeding purposes. Onions are therefore commonly employed in science education to teach the use of microscope for observing cell structure. The pungent juice of onions has been used as a moth repellent and can be rubbed on the skin to prevent insect bites. When applied to the scalp, it is said to promote growth of hair and on the face to reduce freckling. It has been used to polish glass and copperware and to prevent rust on iron. If boiling water is poured onto chopped onions and left to cool, the resulting liquid can be sprayed onto plants to increase their resistance to pests. And the onion plants, when growing, are reputed to keep away moles and insects. Onion skins have been used to produce a yellow-brown dye. Historically, onions were often used for chromniomancy across Europe, Africa, and Northern Asia. And they continue to be used for this practice in some rural areas. Nutrients and phytochemicals. Raw onions. Nutritional value per 100 gram. Energy 166 kilojoules. Carbohydrates 9.34 gram. Sugar 4.24 gram. Dietary fiber 1.7 gram. Fat 0.1 gram. Protein 1.1 gram. Vitamins. Thiamine B1 0.046 milligram. Riboflavin B2 0.027 milligram. Niacin B3 0.116 milligram. Pentothenic acid B5. 0.123 mg, vitamin B6, 0.12 mg, folate B9, 19 microgram, vitamin C, 7.4 mg. Minerals, calcium, 23 mg, iron, 0.21 mg, magnesium, 10 mg, manganese, 0.129 mg, phosphorus, 29 mg, potassium, 146 mg, zinc, 0.17 mg, water, 89.11 gram, fluoride, 1.1 microgram. 
Eye irritation. Cut onions emit certain compounds which cause the lacrimal glands in the eyes to become irritated, releasing tears. Chopping an onion causes damage to cells, which allows enzymes called alienases to break down amino acid sulfoxides and generate sulfanic acid. A specific sulfanic acid is rapidly acted on by a second enzyme. The lacrimatory factor synthesis, LFS, giving synpropanthyl S oxide, a volatile gas known as the onion lacrimatory factor or LF. This gas diffuses through the air and soon reaches the eye, where it activates sensory neurons, creating a stinging sensation. Tear glands produce tears to delete and flush out the irritant. Eye irritation can be avoided by cutting onions under running water or submerged in a basin of water. Varieties. Most of the diversity within Allium sepa occurs within this group. The most economically important Allium crop plants within this group from large single bulbs and are grown from seed or seed grown sets. The majority of cultivars grown for dry bulbs, salad onions and pickling onions belong to this group. The range of diversity found among these cultivars include variation in photo period, storage life, flavor and skin color. Common onions range from the pungent varieties used for dried soups and onion powder to the mild and hearty sweet onions, such as the Vidalia from Georgia, USA, or Walla Walla from Washington, that can be sliced and eaten raw on a sandwich. Hybrids with Allium sepa parentage. A number of hybrids are cultivated that have Allium sepa parentage, such as the diploid tree onion or Egyptian onion, wakeji onion, and the triploid onion. The tree onion or Egyptian onion produces bulbets in the umbel instead of flowers and is now known to be a hybrid of Allium sepa. The Wakeji onion is also known to be a hybrid between Allium sepa and Allium fistulosum, with the Allium sepa parent believed to be from the aggregatum group of cultivars. It has been grown for centuries in Japan and China for use as a salad onion. Under the rules of botanical nomenclature, both the Egyptian onion and Wakeji onion should be combined into one hybrid species, having the same parent species. Where this is followed, the Egyptian onion is named Allium proliferum Eurasian group and the Wakeji onion is named Allium proliferum East Asian group. Spring onions or salad onions may be grown from the Welsh onion as well as from Allium sepa. Young plants of Allium fistulosum and Allium sepa look very similar but may be distinguished by their leaves, which are circular in cross-section in Allium fistulosum rather than flattened on one side. Production and trade. An estimated 9 million acres of onions are grown around the world annually. About 170 countries cultivate onions for domestic use and about 8% of the global production is traded internationally. Top 10 onion producers in 2012 in metric towns were China 20.507 million, India 13.372 million, United States 3.320 million, Egypt 2.208 million, Iran 1.922 million, Turkey 1.9 million, Pakistan 1.701 million, Brazil 1.556 million, Russia 1.536 million, Republic of Korea 1.411 million, world total 74.250 million. Possible health benefits of consuming onions. Cancer. Allium vegetables have been studied extensively in relation to cancer, especially stomach and colorectal cancers. Their beneficial and preventative effects are likely to do in part to their rich organosulfur compounds. Although the exact mechanism by which these compounds inhibit cancer is unknown, possible hypotheses include the inhibition of tumor growth and mutagenesis and prevention of free radical formation. Onions are also a source of the strong antioxidant vitamin C that helps to combat the formation of free radicals known to cause cancer. Colon cancer. High fiber intakes from all fruits and vegetables are associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer. Prostate cancer. In a study published by the Journal of the National Cancer Institute, researchers used a population-based case-controlled study to investigate the relationship between allium vegetable intake and prostate cancer. They found that men with the highest intake of allium vegetables had the lowest risk for prostate cancer. Esophageal and stomach cancer. Frequent intake of allium vegetables has been inversely related with the risk of esophageal and stomach cancer. Several survey-based human studies have demonstrated the potential protective effects of consuming alliums, as well as reports of tumor inhibition following administration of allium compounds in experimental animals. Folate found in onions may help with depression by preventing an excess of homocysteine from forming in the body, which can prevent blood and other nutrients from reaching the brain. Excess homocysteine interferes with the production of the feel-good hormones serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine, which regulate not only mood but also sleep and appetite as well. 
Adequate intake of vitamin C is needed for the building and maintenance of collagen, which provides structure to skin and hair. Onion is so rich with its taste. Many dishes would be incomplete without onions, and all the health benefits of onion makes it more important for us. We cannot overlook the usefulness of onion, so we should consume onion daily in a variety of dishes. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.